sunshine sparkle faces so I'm finally home thank goodness so I came home a couple days ago and my flight back wasn't so bad I thought it would be worse but I did take some oxys and I kind of slept for most of the flight but I would wake up in the middle you know of the flight and um, I would have my ice bag with me and I'd be like excuse me flight attendant um, do you mind filling this with ice? And she'd be like, okay, yeah, sure. So she comes back with my ice bag and then she walks away and I'm like taking it, I'm looking around and I just like put it like directly onto my crotch and like everyone was staring at me and they're like, what the hell? Like, what are you doing? I'm just like, you know, a girl's gotta do what she gotta do, right? Like, hello. <laughs> the last 30 minutes of the flight home was so painful though. Like my meds were coming off and I was like feeling so in pain and discomfort it was just so brutal um i was like driven around in this little cart through the vancouver airport it was actually kind of embarrassing um but whatever it was cool um the guy took me out and my boyfriend was waiting for me he picked me up um and the whole time on the way back home it was so excruciating like holy goodness like i don't want to go back there ever again um but when we got home there's like Chinese food waiting for me. There's like dim sum. There's like flat beef noodle rice. There was like pea tip. Everything I wanted to eat was like here. I was so happy. <laughs> so they gave me some medications for me to bring back home. And I'm not good with pronunciation. So please don't grill me for this. Um, but they gave me some oxys, which I didn't get a lot of. I'm kind of disappointed because I really like this. It takes the pain away and it makes you like, go to sleep right away, which I love. Um, so I only take this before I go to bed and then I wake up in the middle of the night in pain I usually take this again and it makes me like pass out and then I wake up and then I'm good to go um, But they gave me some oxys, wish I had more But I don't um, They gave me some of this Cephalex, which sounds like syphilis, but I swear it's not It's not syphilis in a pill, I promise um, It's for infection and antibacterial uh, These little orange pills here Okay, so the next one is called Celebrex I just feel so dumb saying this. I, I think I should just stop. But it is for inflammation or pain. It's these little pills here. All right, last but not least, we have these orange pills, which are for constipation because, yes, I do have constipation and I can't poo. It hurts, okay? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> and then for casual pains, I do have some Talonon number threes, which are so helpful. I take them in the daytime, one every four hours or whenever I'm feeling pain as long as it's four hours in between, okay? So a quick update on how I'm feeling and everything. Um, you know, I am made up right now and I may look pretty to you all, but behind the scenes, I'm like limping, I'm like screaming, I'm like yelling, I'm in so much pain. Um, but I'm trying to suck it up because I'm a warrior princess. I keep telling myself that I'm a warrior princess and I will get through this. You know, I'm a strong woman. So uh, I, I am still in pain. Like I, I'm in pain right now but I don't want to take a Tylenol yet, which I probably will soon. And for down there, it looked much better than it did like five days ago, seven days ago. Um, it's my 11 day out of surgery and you know, I still can't walk properly. I'm still like hunched over like an old lady and walking really weirdly. Um, the scars are fading already. There's like these two um, scars. <sighs> I don't know. You know, if I was less popular on YouTube, I would probably show you everything. But since I'm a local girl in Vancouver and most people know me in Vancouver, I don't think I would want to flash my vagina to you all. But I would if I had like, you know, 10,000 subscribers or something like that. I don't know. But uh, I don't think I can. So there's these two scars that run down here and they're starting to fade, which I'm so happy because when I woke up there's like these two slash in the between in the middle I'm like what is that looks like a Franken puss or something do you know what I mean it's like like someone who just went to the operating table and was like <laughs> that is what it looks like it's super super swollen still um, I still have to apply ice in between um, it's a little numb but I can definitely feel like I can feel like there's feelings like it's very sensitive I kind of like the feeling of it and for the smell wise like every time I dilate and like the gel comes out um, you can smell the inside of your vagina like you can smell what it smells like and it smells like chicken 
I don't know why it smells like chicken, but I'm just glad it does not smell like fish because if it smells like fish, honey, you have an infection. So um, it smells it smells okay. I'm I'm very pleased with the smell. I guess I don't know. I'm just happy it's not fish. But that is all for my quick update. I'm so happy for everyone who's following my journey and supporting me 100%. You guys are so so amazing. You guys give me strength. You guys are like burning the field to my power. That makes sense, a little cheesy maybe. Um, but I'm just super happy. And for my videos coming ahead, they're gonna be very helpful. I definitely wanna talk about the dilators and I definitely wanna talk about taping and tucking and all of your concerns, cause that's why I'm here. Um, but thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.